Hello and welcome back to Labo Atomic Corporation and today we will continue with day 38. So in the last episode we finally completed Tiferev core suppression and that one yeah it looks so simple yet it's so hard because this was the first time I was introduced to a fun little mechanic called Midnights. Yeah basically I had to get to the uh, Cliff Cove Meltdown level 10, the thing that ticks over every time you fill up the bar, and I had to get there and on my way there, of course I encounter a Midnight Ordeal, the highest level ordeal in the game, you see, yeah, the greatest ordeal is Midnight, usually as the game progresses it ticks over, and this one is final one. At least as far as I know. So, what was the payout? Well, Tifera finally got, I guess, not normal, but she came to terms with her life, with her existence and existence of Enoch. And of course I'm talking about Lisa, because sadly I don't think there is much to be done about Enoch. He was world very from the very beginning and yeah fixing that is uh, one hell of a job however we actually helped Lisa to get a little bit better in some way or form and today today we are going to try and suppress three different Aleph abnormalities so basically standard man do not um, nothing there and blue star this thing. And for that, I'll need to use uh, an employee with prudence level 4 or lower. For that, I have someone. Yep. Eva. Here. Well, I can just make a bad result. So basically, I can order Samuel to do some bad job here, and eventually it will escape. And this one. This one is a little bit. Um, scary because I have to have a person who is has max stats everywhere else apart from justice because justice needs to be lower than level 4 basically means 3 and lower and that thing is kinda hard I think I left a person who is close yep you I was training her the last episode to become the Justice level 3. Yep, and that's it. That is the only person I have who is level 3. Thankfully we got enough lob, so I'm going to strengthen her to level 5 so that she would survive in case uh, this thing decides to attack her. I give her good equipment and she will trigger it. So let me prepare my employees and we will start our suppression session. Okay, and I'm back. I put some people in the right places. So, Somo Busuta, uh, I don't know how to pronounce your name. She will trigger. Nothing there. She is standing here. Eva from the discipline team will trigger blue heart and Samuel will trigger the sensor man. So let's try it out. Also I forgot to mention that in the last episode we also talked with our good old friend Mr. B and he talked about the worth of people in this facility and it was kinda interesting to see because yeah seeing people used as just I don't know how to tell it. As a material, really dilutes your vision of people. Also, we have a new abnormality in a new location, which looks... It reminds me of a game called Control, where they were located in a building called Aldous House and it also had 
these kind of cubes protruding everywhere but all of course they didn't have all this alien dialect everywhere and this thing is here um the abnormality was created with the ideas provided by tumblebug baker Kiri. an old woman with a piano at her side your eyes are usually closed she only notes instead of speaking but on a rare occasion she will faintly smile hmm looks like a he abnormality by the costs okay we'll see however however we have something very scary to deal with first so let's put basically everyone every single person here except for Samuel and Bella and Eva I don't think maybe wall where's my wall people you can go you can go and Mason 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 I assigned you to a lower floor I think oh Mason is not wearing a wall gear anymore so why am I even looking for you let me find him it's Ara and I'm completely oh it's you Asara wait Ara oh it's you you're wearing a heal level weapon that's why I didn't notice you okay because this thing I've seen it uh, break out a few times. However, I didn't really notice its effect on people. So, my assumption is that it has a facility wide effect or a large area of effect. Either or. Because whenever it does something, it emits a very big. I don't know, circle around itself. So we'll see, we'll see. Okay, is everyone ready? Yep. This will be the first time I'm actually fighting against this thing, so let's try it. Let's do something that which is has high. And you're still taking too much damage. Hopefully you will survive without panicking. Come on, please, 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 please stop. It's too much, it's too much. Okay, you're not wearing the best gear, I guess. But I didn't really want to use you in a fight that's why i gave you this thing okay it's only common let's wait let's patiently wait okay now again this is the best thing aside from inside i guess you i don't really need you to have four prudence anymore so please do inside If it fails, I'll just retry and try again. The odds are very high that she will not panic. Okay, let's slow down a little bit. As soon as it escapes. Oh no. Remove yourself from here. Um. The reason why I put everyone here because every time I saw that this thing appeared in the information department, so I assume that it always appears in the information department. 
I'm not taking a nap. I'm actually doing the correct thing here. Okay, it does its thing. Oh wow. And everyone here just becomes wild. At least... Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, the level ones, obviously, they died. That's it. Two level ones. Everyone else is fine, aside from Chloe, who took quite a big hit. Okay. Oh, it does a lot of white damage. Okay, let's see. Do you have... Hmm. It strikes too fast. The regenerator cannot keep up. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, okay, let's play it on third speed and see what will happen. Huh? Are you okay? Shouldn't you just turn into a dragon and try to fight it? Like she was just standing there. Quite interesting. So yeah, no. This is kinda impossible. Another thing that I wanted to test is... Let's see. These people are actually fine, all of them. So this is the effect of a good armor. Can I put more than one person inside a bunker? The answer is no, but... The answer is no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Another thing that I can do. Please, everyone. Uh, don't go insane. I need you to... Stay strong. For just a while. Oh my god. Even Samuel will die. Okay, we'll try it in the next run. Oh no, Samuel is fine. Okay, please. Don't go completely insane. So, Bella, please go and activate the music box. Well, this black damage thing doesn't really help to test my theory. You are relaxed? Yeah, 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 you're relaxed. Because I can do this thing repeatedly. Just alternating every 30 seconds. But it doesn't seem to help all that much. Yeah, and she went insane again. Hmm. This one is difficult, to be honest. Okay. Now, let's try another thing. Samuel. Run here. Let's see. Let's heal you. Uh, just a little bit. Is it facility-wide? Or it just has a very large area of effect? It's... Look like facility wide yeah she's taking damage even here and this damage doesn't seem to reduce itself from the distance hmm I have to find a good way to deal with this thing okay maybe it's very weak like completely crumbling to damage. Let's try it. 
Samuel, please show us what is going on. Hmm. Skull, no. Come on, please stop. You're just annoying. You're not even strong. Okay, let's see. Of course you are getting healed from it For some reason Yeah, it's very weak It has a very small health bar Because this is only Samuel This is only Samuel Even though this weapon is very good It's not that good to damage the Aleph level abnormality that fast So basically I am on a timer. So, what I'm going to do is I will put everyone in here initially. Or maybe initially I will put everyone here. So, I don't know. No. I put everyone here and it teleported here. So, maybe it doesn't care where the majority of people are. So, I'll put everyone here and one person, probably Bella, will activate the Theresia and hopefully it will be enough no not Bella because Bella needs to fight this thing and then hopefully it will be enough time to actually kill this thing so let's restart and I will see you when I'm set up okay I am back here again I'm about to trigger this abnormality so let's do this again I put all the people who are good against this thing here all of them have wow or aleph level gears and all the people who are not good are going to stay here it doesn't matter where, where this abnormality will show up however if it shows up here it will be more problematic because it will slow down the regenerator so hopefully it will show itself somewhere else okay Please regenerate yourself. Eva is the one who is going to trigger the Theresia. And hopefully I will not mess up the timing. And she will be fine. Okay. I'm very skeptical that... It is... Teleports to the location with the majority of people, however... In case it is true, I will move everyone here preemptively. Oh no. Please do your job better. You are embarrassing me. Okay, go and use this thing. Can I see? No, not yet. Okay, teleport, teleport, teleport. Oh, here, okay. Everyone, please move. Everyone from here, please move and intercept. Okay, this will be hard. This will be hard. But I made sure, I made sure that I have the best people. Okay, let's try a slowness bullet. Hopefully it will slow down its attack. Uh, I'm not sure it does. But maybe it will. Okay. It destroys the clerks all around the facility. What's your status on... Sanity, not good. That's what the status. Who are you? Why are you here? Are you crazy or something? You're about to become. Um, she needs a bullet. You need a bullet. I need to clump you up, but this is not really easily possible okay, 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 
Okay. Listen to the music, listen to the music. Yep, yep, yep. Get your bullet now. Oh. Um, please clump up. Yep. Now, you. You people. You have help of Acera. Who is shooting this magical projectile. That's supposed to help you. Somehow. Okay, 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 okay. Please don't go insane. Please don't go insane. Um. Okay, someone went insane. Sadly. Now, um. Wait, all of you went insane? No. What is... What do you mean I didn't click the button? <laughs> Who went insane? Please tell me. Uncontrollable. Why did he die? Okay, I guess I missed one person. No, you have good stats. It's just not good against white damage, that's all. And you're taking your sweet time killing this thing. Is it immune to white damage? No, it's not. It doesn't have affinity for white damage either. And they went insane. Hmm. Now the Queen of Hatred is bothering us by existing. Okay, please just do something about this thing. Hmm. Maybe, maybe. I don't care about the regenerator in this room and I actually use bullets to sustain my people. Yeah, by the way, if you're wondering why the music only started now, because this thing is supposed to muffle the sound when it escapes. Uh, it says here, yep. Reduce to silence. Yeah, I will try to put everyone into this elevator. This will ensure that they are all stacked up on top of each other and I can just use my sanity bullets to heal them. So, let's try this again. Okay, yet another try, however... I decided something different. This time I put everyone into the same room. Because I will try to use everyone's damage instead of trying to use only the best of the best. And I will give them a white shield. So it's appearing here. Okay, or you are all under the white shield. So please go here. You need some healing. And you're not going to survive very easily. Maybe you should heal first. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Go and try and go into the, the thing. Okay, the shield is protecting you. But it's not protecting you. Hmm. One more shield. I have to be very careful with my shields. Um, I don't need it. Okay, no, this is not good. This is not. Good. You're too. F yeah, your space inconveniently. This is not going to work. Do you have a shield already? Okay. Please, clump up. Clump up. Yep, 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 yep. Now, shield for you. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, another shield here. Shield here, shield here, and shield here. It should be good. Now, please enter the bunker. 
if I don't want to spend time dealing with you. Okay. Now end usage. No, you're not. Hmm. I just have to kill you, I guess. Go and try and fight. Oh, I forgot about you. Sorry. Okay, I just need to look for these little things. Uh, I think the shield broke. So shield for you, for you, 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 and you. Should be fine at this point. Yep, and this is blue star done. With zero casualties. Here's the proof of that. Zero casualties. One is done. Two more to go. So. Hmm. Okay, let's return you to your positions. Interestingly enough, these people survive. How is that even possible? Okay. The next one. Uh, I think I will try to use standard man this time. So, we have Samuel. Samuel will go here. And I will have to do it very quickly. Because I have a plan. Samuel will be out from the count for the rest of this round because I will trigger this abnormality and then run to the Knight of Despair and give her the damage resistance buff so she will be able to do it all again or oh, all alone yep no I don't want to do it all again please no however I need to get a bad result this one I didn't really think through. Hmm. There is another possibility that I will just wait for... No. I can sacrifice a person. Yeah, the critical counter will lower if a person decides to panic. Okay, let's try. I know how I can do this. Let's just work on it. Continuously. Because at one point uh, it will lower its probabilities to the point that it's low enough and it will escape. Hopefully Samuel will survive this. Yeah, Krivkov counter lord when the was, result was bad. This is what we like to see. Please heal. Heal, heal, heal. Come on, I don't want to waste my non-existent bullets. Maybe I should... Wait till the next round. However, I don't want to. What are you going to do about it? I'm impatient. Okay. Tender, tender man. You are very, very slow. So, all these people here. I guess, please, go up top. Because this thing is really slow like extremely slow and i will use that to my advantage why did you score normal how much for bad 0 to 16 wow basically you nailed it the first time or the inverse of nailing the first time i guess Yeah, let's clump you up or into one spot. 
so we are more manageable. Okay, I healed. Yep. Let's try again. Come on, come on. The blue heart was, I guess, a speed test. However, this thing is going to be endurance test. Samuel, please, 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 please. Don't go insane. Why? Why are you so good? At this point, she will get the gift from the sensor man on her eye. If you continue like that. Also, we have increased temperance to 120, so maybe she'll get 120 in the temperance at this point. I completely forgot that I increased this stuff. Come on, come on, come on. I want to show it life. Yeah, it takes a while. Every time. My only concern is that she might... Yeah, this thing happened. I knew it. Basically, she encountered him twice. That's why she took the damage twice. Hmm. I guess I have no choice but to... You see, it doesn't even deal that much damage. Okay, I have no choice. I have to sacrifice people to actually release this thing. So, let me try it again. Okay, let's try it again. However, this time I have some useless level 1s. And are not going to be used anywhere anyway. So let's put them here. Yep. Immediately insane. I didn't think that I would need only one of you. Okay. Now go here. And actually kill him. I said he can run. I don't care. Everyone else here, please focus him. Because Samuel, you just need to be here once. Please show me your health bar. And now you should be able to kill him. Oh no, it's creating small little guys. Yeah. This one, this one is a little bit hectic. That's why I kinda need Blue Star to suck all these clerks inside of it. However, I also also need yeah, I guess go here and get yourself a shield. But I also need these level ones. Wow. Really? You survived. Huh. I thought you were gonna. Okay. Samuel, please receive your buff. This thing does black damage, so it should be fine. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep, now go. Show this thing who is the boss. Wow, you're not even hopeless anymore. You are that good. Um, okay, priorities. Now you're terrified for... Oh, you're terrified because... This thing. Yeah, I see, I see. 
Let's move you like here. Oh my god, spawning more and more of these things. Yeah, this is not sustainable. However, if I do this... Okay. And this... She'll just... Keep running and running. And eventually the regenerator will heal her. Also, I'm not sure. I need to test it. Okay. Go away. And come inside. Wow. You are no longer terrified. You are terrified when the people get turned into these things. However, you are fine whenever you encounter them again. I guess the process is more terrifying than the outcome. Well, of course I can call rabbits, but I want to do this all by myself. Uh, I think one of them died. Hopefully it did. Okay, just run. Run, run, run. Wait for the regenerator. Yep, yep, yep. It doesn't help that it's slow. I guess you don't have to wait for regenerator in this room. You can just wait in the other room. But it's almost complete. Yeah, so basically this will be the thing that I'm going to do for quite a while. So I will see you whenever I'm almost done with this thing. Because you see, there is no problem. Other than it turning people into a mush. And terrifying my summer. So I will be right back whenever this one is almost done. Okay, I'm back and I've been doing it for a while and this is becoming a little bit too annoying. So, I have a rabbit here. So, yeah, I should use it whenever I can because it's not like get away from jail card, but I get only one of those. So, this is a very good opportunity to call them because 50% of my current energy is 10. Why not? Okay, rabbit protocol. And last time these guys were just amazing. Against the censored man. Also, this is not the process that is uh, terrifying Samuel, but actually, whenever she sees it for the first time. And the reason why I called rabbits because the situation is kinda becomes uncontrollable. These things, they just go around everywhere, kill employees, and turn them into these monsters. So I don't want them. I really don't. So Samuel, he will go and clean up this mess. Because only two of them remain. Three of them remain, okay. Yes, you see, she is terrified because she saw the first one, but she haven't seen the second one yet. So this terrified thing is oh, there are two of you. And so basically, this terrified thing is only one time. Thank God, you're very slow and very inaccurate. But this employee just doesn't want to leave. Okay, this is how I'm going to deal with the censored man. Wow, you became very confident all of a sudden for a person who was running around. Okay, and this should be it. Censored be gone. Sly Philosopher. 
Samuel is a sly philosopher. You've heard it right. Okay. This is one of the abnormalities he suppressed. The next one is going to be nothing there. For that thing I have a person with free 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 justice. Let's see, where are you? I think you are here. No, not you. Yep, you. I gave you a very good costume. However, again, only Samuel is going to try and kill this thing. Why? Good question. It has a long range attack, but this long range attack is actually just a line. So basically, if need be, I can use my people with ranged weapons and move them out of the way just before the attack. So this should be fine. Please don't, don't growl at me. Okay, nothing there, please come out, come out, come out. No, 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 don't fight it. Let Samuel deal with it. Okay, this is not how it's supposed to be. Um, okay, just do this. Little ends thing. Okay, uh, you're becoming very annoying. Everyone except level 1 employees, please. Come and help me. Yep, you too. Can't believe you're still here, people. Okay. Run away. Okay, cocoon. Cocoon is here. Uh, please move here. Okay. Now, this is time where I should move all melee guys out, including you. Oh my god. Clicking on people is so hard in this game. Someone please stand here. Hopefully it will aggro on you. And these people... Okay, please move even further up. And you people please move here. So, what is my plan is I will try to... Do you have a death fish? Who is that? Go away! I'll try to aggro this thing on Samuel. She will never die from its hits. Well, oh, technically. And hopefully when he does his range attack. Yep, you see? It goes in a line like that. So basically, everyone behind him should be fine. Well, this, this I guess includes people who are striking him from behind, I guess. Let's test it. Currency. You don't have a good armor, but you are the most close range possible. Oh, okay, so I can just use everyone. Never mind. Yeah, basically nothing there is the easiest one here, you see? Goodbye. Goodbye. And that's it. The Aleph abnormality is suppressed. Now for the speedrun one. I will have to wait till the next Klifkov meltdown level because I need all my bullets. So I will see you when I am there. And I'm back here, so let the 
finish the day with blue star and in order to trigger it I will use these level 1 employees because they will die anyway there is no reason to not use them yep he's dead bye and it's so fortunate that both of them survived because yeah I need both of them goodbye so now I just have to find it did you teleport already? No. A little bit more time. Yep, it's here. Good, 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 good. Now, everyone, please move, move, move. Uh, it's not shooting yet. However, I will give you a preemptive shield. Yep. Killing people. Clump up. Now. Shield for everyone. And now bash it. To death. Okay, let's see, let's see. The shields are up. The shields are down. I repeat. The shields are down. Okay. Almost there. Uh... Someone broke their shield. But this is okay because we are done. And this is how you kill all the abnormalities. Yeah, decided to launch your last attack on me. But I don't care. I'm just too good for you. Why are you playing a scary music? The game is so confused. It it thinks that no, you're supposed to have problems. It is an Aleph level of normality. Come on, you should have problems suppressing it for quite some while. But no, this is how you do it. Basically, nothing there. Both easiest one to deal with and easiest one to suppress. Tensor man. It is possible to suppress all by yourself. However, the more corpses there are, the more problem you will have. The best situation is that you somehow suppress the blue star first, then you suppress the tensor man. However, for that, I guess you need people who will survive the initial attack of the blue star so yeah you'll have to lose more in this case but i use the rabbit team i think it's very good useful of them and of course the blue star what it does is yeah almost destroys all the departments you see all of them are either level one or level zero so Depends on how lucky you are. So, I will continue with the day. And we will explore this little abnormality. Hopefully it doesn't have a kill condition. And I also noticed that it has a piano singing thing. However, let's give Mason a time to explore this. He is wearing a very good armor, all rounder, good. So it does white damage. It is a wall level. This is concerning. Hmm. Guidelines. The piano can be played ordering an agent to perform. However, please note that the cliff call counter will lower when the performance is finished. The music temporarily increases the temperance and justice of all employees by a small degree. However, the one who performed lost half their HP by the end of the performance. When the work result was normal, the counter lowered with moderate probability. Um, attachment? It seemed like a 
an attachment type abnormality. Hmm. This one might be difficult if it escapes. Okay, good. Let's open all the guidelines, I guess. So, when the result was bad, Klivkov decreased. The Klivkov counter load to zero when an employee entered the unit to play it for the third time. When abnormality escaped, it voluntarily returned to its containment after the end of the third movement. The movement also permanently ended when abnormality was suppressed. I guess it teleports around, and by movement they mean teleports, so it teleports three times and then returns, hopefully. Okay, I will wait, no, I will not, come on. Minus eight is more like minus zero, am I right? Well, it's kind of cool that we are getting new WoW level abnormalities. That means that soon we are going to have yet another Aleph. Second Pianto della Luna. Um, I don't know what does it mean. And also, how I found with the Wee Witch. I guess each abnormality has a list of names that they can pull from because this one alternates be between V Witch and L Latita. Latitita? No, no. Latitia. Lat Latitia. Latitia. So maybe this one. Oh, it's, uh, it's Il Pianito della Luna. Oh, I see. It doesn't make sense to me. At least I see the counter. So, yeah. I will play normally and I will come back when I have more information about this world. So, see you in a bit. And I'm done with the day. So, let me show you what I've got here. So, basically, this is a non escaping entity. My guess is that when the counter reaches zero, it will just teleport in random places and do some aerial effect damage. Because here it says, when Il Piano, Pianto della Luna escaped, it voluntarily returned to its containment after the end of the third movement. It might uh, seem like a strange phrasing, but maybe it means like third movement in a composition, whatever that might entail for an abnormality. But it also has interesting gear. Not that good against spell damage, but overall stats are good. And also a short range white weapon, which has fast speed. So let's end the day. B, because we lost two people. One of them panicked and survived. First trumpet was... I think when... Well, who knows? B is a B. I completed my mission and I'm happy with it. This bracelet shall not forgive those who hold greed in their hearts. Thus, it must be only be worn by those in true need. And the prayer shall inevitably end with the eternal despair of its worshipper. Excessive aspiration would bring about unwanted frenzy. Uh, insanity, insanity, death. Insanity? Hopefully. Shortly after I was born, I questioned myself daily about the significance and the meaning of my creation. Then you handed me the first script and gave me the answer. They say the narrator plays an important role in unraveling the plot. Also, yesterday... When I fell asleep, I was thinking about this thing, and, you know, it's not crazy to think about it, but maybe all of this is actually not true. Maybe this whole thing, this 
this whole facility that we are running is actually a play created by Angela, including all the memories of all Sephiroth. Because it's hard to it's hard to test this, and it's hard to understand whether or not this is actually all true, or is that created memories? Because, well, this game doesn't have that many backgrounds, and we see them quite often. So who knows? What are what if some of those memories are created, and maybe, maybe, just maybe. If this is partially true, what if our lost forgotten friend, for example Mr. B in the record team, is affected by this? What if his memories are incorrect? Because we saw that something was uh, here before he got transformed into a Sephiroth. He left us a program. Maybe right now he forgot about it. And code well this program doesn't mean anything and even if it does something he, he will not care but maybe he just doesn't remember it because his memory has been altered angela has a full control over the sephiroth it seems and even maybe over the mr b who knows well thank to you i was so much it was so much fun reciting your script. So much so that I was able to find my raisin detra without noticing the time fly by. Sometimes I have these thoughts. What if this script is part of a play that's missing its finale? Maybe you prepared a play that could never end just so that you could tie me into this knot. If so, would it be appropriate for me to disobey your orders and obtain my own free will for the first time? Hmm. Do you think this dialogue was part of the script? Or was it born of my own free will? You know, it's hard to tell, Angela, it's hard to tell. This all seems to be a play. Listen, I know... Lobotomy Corporation is an important client and all, but don't you guys renew the contract too often? This place is so grimy. It's like a dungeon. I always get a bad vibe. Please hold for a moment, Rabbit Captain. We need to explain what we are doing here to the manager. Oh, he still doesn't know who am I? Well, go on and explain it quickly then. This must be the first time you'll participate in a meeting with outside party manager. As was mentioned a few times prior, our company was, has initiated contracts with some of the other wings for sus sustainable development and business opportunities. It is also my job to renew those contracts with our associate wings when the moment arises. All that is needed from you is to be our token manager and present yourself in that role. I shall handle the rest of the formalities and procedures. Associate Wing. What is that boring introduction? You may feel free to provide more detailed information at a later time in a private Mayo or Mio. For now, let us start the meeting. I will call him Mio because I am not sure how to pronounce this name. I am not sure if it's Mayo or Mio. So I will call him Mio. Speaking of would you be so kind as to remove your helmet, at least for the duration of our meeting? You are kidding? The helmet is whole identity of the rabbits. Well, fine, it's whatever. I just gotta be brief. The content of the contract from my end, right? I mean... Uh, I'm sick of reading this over and over. You can just look at the contract for the whole damn thing. Do I really have to say it one more time? As I informed you prior, it's part of a formal procedure. I myself have to specify whether or not you agreed to the terms again. Still, as trick as ever, aren't you? Allow me to explain our services first. Company R will provide military support and protection from all external threats to the company L. 
every branch of Lobotomy Corporation will be included under the terms of Company L. However, there will be certain exceptions where a branch may not be considered under the designation. Well, I say exceptions, but we are willing to let it slide unless it involves the head of or the eye. Company L will provide the energy to Company R in needs to maintain its operation. This renewal process also includes a prerequisite that invokes a mutual and continual agreement between Company W and Company L. Company W. Huh. Without dot? Because L is, I guess, lobotomy, R is rabbit, but W, just W. And let's, and let's see. Or maybe it was just a mistake. Okay. Let's see. Company L will provide all specialized ammunition utilized for killing of abnormalities. All rabbit team members will have their memories erased after the completion of their mission. There will be no questions or concerns raised about the peculiarity of the facility or purpose of its location. And finally, I, as the captain of the rabbits, will deploy my team following Company R's guidelines and assume the role of command for operations taking place in this facility. That should be everything. Look through the written contract for the final detail. There has been no changes in the agreement with Company W. Along with that, the new period will be one year, just as before. Yeah, sure. It's one year for you, but okay, then. On a side note, can you please do something about the teleporter to make the process a bit smoother? It feels like my body is being taken apart piece by piece and thrown out of a window. I'm afraid you will need to ask Company W about this. It's not our control. Hmm, Iburon, why do you have such an expression? Why are little bunnies let out of their cages and dispatched here of all places? You must really not know a thing if you are looking down on the rabbits. It's already been concluded that the rabbits are the most fit for the honorable task of slaughtering in this place. The rhinos would most certainly smash this entire place beyond recognition. And the reindeer, <laughs> with the exception of the machines that work here, would cause irreversible damage to Mr. Manager over there. Miss Angela made it explicitly clear to not hurt or affect the manager. We always pay special attention to our client requests. I'm not talking about your damn rhinos or deer. I'm saying that we can handle our own problems. We don't need any outsiders to interfere. What's that? What can you do with that flimsy thin body of yours, huh? You seem much weaker than us now. Can't you see that? If you're like how you once were back in the day, then maybe I would be a different story. But look at you now. As soon as you set foot into the back streets, you'll be torn apart limb by limb by those sweepers. The old days when you shredded everything before you into a red mist is now lost to the past. Things have changed. You should realize that. If I wanted to, I could tear up a tiny rabbit like you in seconds. Please, everyone, we need to focus on the topic at hand. Giburo. Our agreement with the rabbit team is to help us prepare for the worst case scenario that will be beyond our own abilities. I'm certain that you have learned this from your experience with previous suppressions. The combat skills of the mercenaries sent to us by Company R are on par with those of the other wings. We can handle our own problems, on our own perfectly fine. I can prove it, right here, right now, if you want. I have compiled the statistics. The amount of data is too vast for any person to calculate. With my exception, of course. The reason I continued to contract the rabbits is that the risk of involving outsiders pales to the potential of our worst-case scenarios. They are worth every penny. However, the rabbits will not intervene with the general suppression. Please come down and analyze the situation reasonably, Kibura. Huh. That should be all for reviewing our contract. Ibura is the one in charge of the basic suppression process, 
so if you need any advice for help regarding combat, just ask her. I'm afraid I don't have a single itty bitty question for you. We rabbits have our own way of handling things. Nor do I have anything left to say to you, filthy animal. You've done your business. How about you just bunny hop away now? Sheesh! You are being so harsh to your fellow native of the back streets. You wouldn't happen to be mad at me because I made fun of you earlier, aren't you? Don't act like you know me. I'm not in the mood for your stupid games, so just shut up. Haha, <laughs> I get it now. You are mad because you feel we interrupted your fight, aren't you? Yeah, I don't need any help from the likes of you. Well, it's not like we are here for a greater cause or some ulterior motive. We just drop by quickly when we are called and vanish without a trade just the same when it's time. I thought you were just like me, finding joy in the slaughter. But as it turns out, you are just crazy. A complete wacko. We are the rabbits who hop around following orders to find flesh patches of the grass, but you're different. You used to know who you were supposed to fight, who your enemy was. You wouldn't believe how shocked I was to find you. I never expected to see a the fabled hero like, well, this. And in the dark basement too. The hero I remembered was someone who wasn't afraid of shedding blood to protect the others, if all he might. Please, don't taint the fond memories I have of you. All the abnormalities have broken out. Everyone here is done for. Dead? All of them? Probably. There won't be any survivors left. Abnormalities aren't something we can handle on our own. You are in danger too, ma'am. You best escape now. Kibura, I'm going to take apart the, an experiment pretty soon. I'm going to take part in an experiment pretty soon. We'll probably see each other again. But just in case, I want to say one thing. Please, take good care of Isabel and my little giddy while I'm gone. Are abnormalities, ab Are abnormalities able to feel human emotions when confronted with a person? of close relation. What choice would they make when faced with such a situation? The experiments seem to have yielded the expected results. Excuse me, Lady Angela, what should I do with this? There is a blanket and a few feeding bottles left. I have gotten all the results I needed for the experiment. The owners are no more, so you can simply discard them. Hey! Hey, hey! Did I just shut down or what? I really should be going. Well, I don't think next we meet. I don't think next time we meet, we'll be on such a calm waters. The rabbits will live now. I am definitely not a hero. Never have been. Never will be. Our work! We handle the work we, we are presented with. Only I know best how to deal with things like this, so I can't tolerate someone else trying to take over my stage. Let's show this arrogant hairs that we can take care of business ourselves. Complete a midnight ordeal. And interestingly enough, it doesn't say complete a midnight ordeal without rabbits. I think it should have. Okay. <clears throat> Let's prepare. You have returned. So, do you have fun with your little journey while I was locked up here? Don't worry, I'm not mad at you. Oh, sorrow. You see, finally I have come to respect you. For I know you will never depart. It's, di it's difficult to perceive the flow of time here. Therefore, this eternity has saved me. Have you seen the turbid streams of the enormous river that crossed the whole city? If you arrive downstream after the raging rapids and serpentine currents, 
you'll see a meadow that is enormously broad, but also tranquil. That land is bathed with all kinds of mud, sand, trash, and the residuals that have come from the upstream. What is encoded by upstream or midstream finally end up here, downstream. To bear all residuals that pile up, one would need a strong bug and doesn't break easily. I have made many wells here. I have to draw water every single day, but it seems that uh, the water level never lowers. This water? Because I see some kind of container here, and it seems like a water spring down. Well, what does it mean to draw water? Our labor is bringing the water that is deep within the well to the outside. You never know what the bucket contains when it rises from the eternal darkness. But I always draw the water with a pulley, come what may. You must always stay cautious so that you don't fall into the well. Maybe it was an act of generosity towards those that are thirsty, so that they may save themselves. It was you who made the bucket. But you left the duty of drawing water with the bucket to another. Don't ask for my name. Baina isn't the name of a person. It's a sad name of the place where one finds many gra graves. I'm the one who draws the water. Why have you come here? And what do you wish for me to draw? Collecting extracted specimens. Let us have you begin with extracting ego before we proceed to more complex tasks. The nature of ego and abnormalities are more akin than not. Mm -hmm. They are both phantasmal being extracted to material plane, bone from bone, blood from blood. Extract five or more ego of grade here or higher. Huh. This will be a little bit difficult. Okay, let's expand your division. And let's select our research. Do I have a research? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yep. The last bullet. The employee execution bullet that can actually be used against clerks. Oh, and the limit. Well, I need actually sanity. Thank you very much. And that will be it for the episode today. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll continue in the next time. Good luck.